Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you watch my previous video, you see I look the same. I'm filming all this in one take. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my 2018 goals, especially the ones that may pertain to you and the type of content that I have coming out on this channel. So this may be a quick a quick little thing. Um, uh, just, to, just to recap, last year, 2017, I was really fixated on the, uh, the idea of winning, like just having a winning mindset. Um, I have a video that I love that I put together on um, just motivation hacks just keeping yourself motivated. So um, I'll have that linked uh, in the cards for you to click on and below as well if you wanna check that out. But last year was all about winning and so I created an inspiration board for that. I put into place different tools to help me stay motivated and to get, to get me to accomplish, start to be productive and accomplish things. So this year's vision and goal for me is a little bit different um, and it might see counterproductive but my goal and vision for 2018 is really rest <laughs> it's rest it's renewal it's replenish um, originally in 2018 I thought the word was flourish I, I knew it was I was like we're gonna flourish in 2018 I'm gonna accomplish all of these things I had big dreams and goals and the truth is I still have those big dreams and goals that I'm so excited to pursue this year but the more that I thought about the word flourish as the theme for 2018 I became mentally exhausted. Um, I just got tired thinking about, oh my goodness, to flourish, you know, it's to thrive, it's to reach, it's to go. Um, and so I have uh, since reworked my vision. And so flourish is still a part of that, but the lineup is rest, renew, replenish, and then finally flourish. And I think all of that is connected. <laughs> So um, that's kind of the direction I'm going. I'm gonna give you a tour of my inspiration board this year. So um, a book that I am, uh, that I picked up at the library today, it, it just kind of sums this up. And it's called um, Bored and Brilliant. And I'll have the information about the author and stuff below for you to find. But the concept is that we can just like focus so much on doing and consuming and all of those things that we are not tapping into our, our brilliance, basically. I mean, we are made in the image of a brilliant God who created this planet and all of these things. I mean, so to think that we are in his image, creative people, and we have power within us to create awesome and beautiful things. But the more that we uh, kind of dole that part of ourselves through to too much uh, content consumption, honestly, uh, and thank you for you know consuming my content. I know there's a lot out there you could be consuming. So um, thank you for picking me. But yes, we can be just so uh, inundated with with things coming in and at us, and we're not taking time to rest. You know, sleep is so important. I was just reading up on sleep as I'm trying to get my toddler, you know, to sleep through the night. She's not quite there yet. That it's so important just for your your brain because so much happens here as we're sleeping that um, may, helps us to start afresh the next day and there's so much creativity um, creative potential that's not tapped into and I realized this uh, last year when I had my first child Sophia like um, during our nursing sessions, you know, I didn't text, I didn't read anything, I was not a multitasking there, I was just nursing, and so when you're nursing, you could be just sitting there for, yeah, you know, some, it varies in time, but it could be 15 minutes or, or more, and like, during that time was one of my most powerful times for just solving problems, and being creative, and, and dreaming, and, and so, I just realized, wow, this is so important to just have time where I'm not listening to anything, I'm not really doing much of anything, I'm relaxed, and I just let my mind um, be creative. And so that is what I want for 2018, is just more time for that, more physical sleep. I have been suffering for not getting uh, that much sleep 
uh, this past year in 2017 and it has taken a toll on my body and on my mind and on my energy and all of that so this year I you know if that means going to bed early um, some nights here in the past few weeks I've been going to bed eight o'clock sometimes 7 30 can you believe that um, and it's been so good it has been so good to get sleep so physical sleep resting restoration taking time to just not be anxious to go on walks to just sit and enjoy my daughter and not be thinking about oh i need to get this done or that done so that's a part of it okay and i'm not saying i don't have big goals this year i do i have some big goals this year and um also sophia has become a toddler she turned one in december so i'm thinking about sharing more about uh, how that's going and, and tips that I'm picking up on t raising toddlers and different things like that. Uh, another goal that we have for this year is um, we are thinking about having something of a homestead. We have a little chicken house uh, that came with the home when we got here and I had been interested in having chickens before when we had land and we had like five acres in the country and then we moved back to the suburbs. Um, so I think we're thinking about having chickens and not only that but starting a garden and which leads me to share with you that I, yes we are I'm seriously considering doing a second channel in collaboration with my sister my sister has done gardening and and uh, small scale farming uh, for in the, the past 10 years so she has a wealth of experience she has two kids so she currently homeschools I'm not sure what their plan is for this next school year if they'll continue to do that or not but she and I have uh, really just been talking and dreaming of starting a channel together and sharing uh, pretty much our homesteading journeys and uh, or planting and growing um, uh, outside you know food and then also raising kids and then also just home related so that being said this channel will still be in existence and I'll still post lifestyle videos on here on the other channel which if you want to check it out um, oh should I tell you now okay yes I'll tell you now I know that it's it's an undeveloped uh, channel so but it does exist it's called happiness is homegrown so if you want to kind of get in there and you want to pre-subscribe to what we might be having coming out in the spring um, you can go ahead and do that so happiness is homegrown is that's what that is about is um, home related gardening and children all right so that's the uh, another thing uh, so speaking of YouTube, another thing I'm considering doing is including more vlog style videos. Originally when I started YouTube, I wanted it to be all value content, value based content. I didn't want to just post like this is my life, you know, um, but I, I do think it could be interesting to have something of uh, a blend just in case you want to see kind of what I've got going on. I, I haven't decided for sure yet. Um, like I said, I didn't, I haven't. When I started, I didn't intend to do any kind of vlogging, but if that's something you might be interested in, it would be more kind of like what this video is, just kind of ch share with you what I'm thinking, what I'm doing, uh, that sort of a thing. Not that I'm anybody really that for you to follow or uh, be interested in that, but if you are, let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in some vlog style videos along with value-based content, uh, lifestyle content. So those are the big, uh, goals that we have in mind for this year. Also, as um, as far as YouTube is concerned, it is becoming. Um, it was kind of something I was toying with, an idea I was toying with last year of being on YouTube. Uh, and, and for what reason? Um, well, for one, I just enjoy the platform. I think it's an awesome place to learn, to grow, to connect, and to be inspired. And so I really wanted to be a part of that uh, as a YouTuber. I, I am an educator. Uh, in my history like I, I've taught, taught children I've taught adults on different subjects and so I love learning I love education I love sharing knowledge and inspiring and YouTube seemed like a really cool platform to do that that was super flexible because uh, my primary focus of course is my my child my husband all oh, that should be reversed my husband my child our home um, and so uh, it's to continue teaching and, and that sort of a thing it seemed like it would have to be something flexible and online something I could do uh, like during nap times and during uh, bedtimes and things like that so 
Uh, so that's the thing it, that I've really been considering with YouTube and what the future holds. Uh, as far as my goals with the channel, I put a number, I did, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was really bad. I put a number of subscribers I was hoping to reach this next year and then I've scratched that off because that's not the kind of YouTuber I want to be always out to just get the big views and the big number of subscribers. Uh, what I would really love to focus on is just upping my quality, upping my content, um, just really providing good value for you instead of like, oh, can I get more views and subscribers? Uh, it's an interesting thing, social media, how it has affected us, you know, um, it's so easy to be out to get the likes and the comments and, but all of that really is pretty superficial. I mean, you know, um, Anyway, I just, I don't want that to be my focus. And so I have repented of that mindset and forgive me for going there. So yes, more focus just on quality. And um, so there's that. I definitely want to be reading more this year. I've got a stack of books um, that I bought and some from the library that I want to get to get to. Um, but some of that is with uh, raising a toddler. So I really want to, I'm out of my element here. You know, we made it through the first year with Sophia and now we're getting into a toddler and she's becoming just a little bit more opinionated about what we're doing and how, and how things are going and you know, some things she doesn't like. And, and so I'm just like, okay, what do I do? Well, just yesterday in Target, I was pushing my buggy and she's screamed like piercing screams and like, ah, what do I do? So I have been uh, trying to learn from some experts, but of course, taking it all with a grain of salt because I think as a parent, you know, you have instincts um, that you can tap into. I think uh, God gives us wisdom with our kids and what we can be doing with them, um, you know, and insight and children are different, you know, so we can't just try to make them fit into a mold. Um, but I do think that there's some value to learn from some, some books that I've got. Another thing is definitely I want to get more organized with meal prep and planning. Um, you know, food is such an important part of our nutrition. So I want to be uh, just having more of a plan, a menu planning and, and getting uh, that together. Another thing that I want to do is get every single area in my house organized. So I've ordered KonMari book. I've got a book by Clutterbug. And if you haven't checked out Clutter, Clutterbug on YouTube, you should definitely check her out. She's so much fun. It's got great tips for getting your home together so every single place in my house I would love to get organized and I know that's a big task I'm tired just thinking about it but I would love to take you along that journey here on this channel as I'm tackling different spaces and showing you what I've done uh, to get it all organized so those are the, the big goals I have some little goals here and there um, more specific, uh, fitness related, health related, but I thought those would be the most interesting to share with you. And, and those are goals that can be, sh will be showing up probably in my content for 2018. So thank you so much for joining me in this video today. If you didn't see my first video that I put out, um, Definitely check that one out if you're looking for motivation for setting goals. If you feel like, oh, it's already getting close to mid-January, I didn't set any goals, I'm so behind. You're not, you're not. I think you can set goals at any point in time in the year. So I've got some fun tips for you to help you get started uh, on the right foot in 2018. And then also I have some, some fun, neat ways for you to stay inspired and sustain your energy and, and actually accomplish those goals by the end of the year. So yes, after you finish this video, um, definitely go check out that video and I think you'll be encouraged and inspired by what I share with you there. And friends, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I'm really excited about what I have coming up around the bend. Um, so I'll see you then. Bye.